Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Noob to Pro series. In this one, time for another tutorial, my dudes. How to get gathering vouchers. These things right over here. Everyone needs this thing, right? Now obviously you can get them easily from doing area operations, which I like to call rebuilds like Golden Desert or Fall Secret Path. And it doesn't really matter if you get, you know, SS or S or whatever. For just getting rank B, you basically get 4K gathering vouchers from the boxes. So when you open the boxes, oh, and also you get another box. So doing a Fall Forest, Golden Desert gives you these boxes. You open these boxes after completing them. Easy gathering vouchers. Before it was like Fall Forest points, Sandcastle points, but now it's all converted into gathering vouchers. It's really convenient. You can get gathering vouchers by exchanging your special items pretty much. 500 per one item. Easy peasy. Now some people might be like, why do I need gathering vouchers? Come on, man. That shish is just useless, man. No, it's not actually useless. It's actually very useful. It's actually the best way to get free mats without farming the actual zone like let's say you want 200 hardwood one boom you just put that number in you get those resources just like that easy freaking peasy no need to worry about anything and let's say i want iron ores boom just drop it in there drop the number in and you got it click the check mark and it's gonna go into your mailbox but uh last way you can get gathering vouchers is talking to this guy and giving him blue food so far the best blue food that i found for these guys is tamagoyak however you pronounce it recipe is two milk and two fish but first you have to unlock the recipe by going to crafting tab going all the way there and boom exclusive special formula unlock recipe tamagoyaki and that's how you get that thing once you unlock that you can make tamagoyaki i will show you again later but now let's talk to this guy and by the way you can donate the food to every zone so level one has its own gathering vouchers level two zone has its own gathering vouchers again and so on and so on so let's say i'm just gonna drop in my tamagoyaki goyaki to this guy or like so and as you can see we got 2.4k gathering vouchers and submit well i can also drop in the bread with jam those are really cheap to make and uh yeah i'm not gonna drop anything else because this food is very important let's say this lemons and all of that this drumstick save these because these are very important you need those don't just give them away man come on but uh let's go to another zone now that npc this is summer rain highway this is where i am and this is resource level one zone so let's go to our resource level two zone now and of course let me just grab my food because i ain't going there without no food so let's yoink all of this tamagoyaki and here it is guys the recipe for making tamagoyaki basically put in two fish and two milk in and you got it man you got it freaking tamagoyaki just like that and uh well two milk might be expensive you know but um all you gotta do man is go to your garden harvest some cows and uh you know that's some easy freaking milk one cow gives me 12 milk well depends on your tech the amount of times you feed your cows but you know dude this is some free gathering vouchers right there and you can literally just buy two cows per day that's how you do it now it's not necessarily just tamagoyaki that you can feed them you can also buy wheat seeds from brandon and or just you know click here click quick purchase and then you got it five per day plant that and you know when you get that you click here find flour make lots of fine flour and with the fine flour you obviously want to make bread with jams which is this this you can make three berries one flower or you can make two flower two berries it doesn't matter really but it's green that i think the max you can get is green so green is 75 points and blue is 150 points for the food you give to the npcs i have lots of flour let's see how much i've got i've got 144 and plus the others in this boxes that i haven't converted you can easily get berries by going to mall click mall click plants and scroll down berry seeds buy all of those 10 per day dude and yeah that's it let's just make some more flash of genius you saw that on the screen that is obtained if you go to your crafting and maxing this skill flash of genius once you max this skill out any green quality food can you know has a chance to become blue type of food so you know if you get a blue type of food um more points to the npcs you, you feel me so yeah, let's grab those again. We're full inventory now, and we got that blue food stuffed in our inventory. Let's go there back again. 
So this time we were in level 1 zone, and now we've got to go to level 2. Now you can basically check the research level of the zone, zoom out, and then it shows research level 2, level 3, you can see that. And that's the gathering team level 2, so what it shows on the map, what research level it is, that's the gathering team level 2. And there's a mystic creature in clear sky wheat fields in four minutes well we might get that but you know let's go to blade hunter base hopefully there's the gathering team there if not that's gonna sucky suck because then we have to like travel back and there it is there's the gathering team now i did say in my previous videos that i don't think that the gathering teams move but they do actually move it just took me like a week to actually see that they move we talk to ken again and as you can see, gathering vouchers obtained today, 0 out of 2,500. One's freaking again, give it to them, bro, like that. And we got exactly 2.5k submit. And that's it for level 2 zone. Now we go back to level 3 zone, then level 4 zone, then level 5 zone. And you just keep going every single day until you reach the limit. And I'm going to buy some tenors because I need iron castings. I'm really low on that. Let's get it. And then obviously if you want even more resources, you can pay in gold to get even more mats shipped every single day. Level 2 is done. Let's make even more food. This is how you literally get rid of junk food that you don't really use. So that's like a good way, you know. Basically just giving to the gathering team. I actually like that they added that. That's really, really nice. Because there's lots of food that I really don't need. For example, there's useless ass fish that you really don't need and it just has terrible buffs basically just restores hunger and I don't really use that there's better things that restore hunger so you can literally just make junk food and then give it to them and you know if you fish a lot that's useful that's very useful so let's go to level three zone now level three zones are snow highlands mount snow i will probably go to snow highlands because i'll most of the time always find the gathering team there but i'm pretty sure this time it's gonna it has moved but let's see, is it here? Um, it actually isn't here. I thought so. It actually did move. So we gotta move, man. Let's go back. Then it has to be on Mount Snow if it's not here. Because yesterday it was in Snow Highlands, but not in Mount Snow. So let's go Mount Snow. Bruh, it's, it's not even in Mount Snow, man. Come on, dude. This game's trolling me. So okay. Polar, let's go to that one. It's not even here either, dude. Where is it then? What map is this? What zone is this, dude? I don't even know. It's I think it's the Utes Mine. Oh my gosh. This sucks, man. Literally, I've been to all the level 3 zones. No gathering team except in the last one. Why is there a heli right here? But you can't go there quickly. Like, that's weird. There's no entrance. I guess I gotta use the bike. And we gotta go there. There's actually a gathering team in Galaxy Valley. Dude, I'm so stupid. I can literally just go there. Let me just go to Galaxy Valley then, I guess. Actually, the easiest way to check what resource level the zone is, just click here. Level 3 resource origin. There we go. It's just literally listed down here. Then you can click switch. Level 2. There we go. It shows it again. And click switch. Level 1. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, you get the point. So let's go Galaxy Valley. Hope I can make it because it's two minutes for Mystic Creature in the wheat field. So if I can make it to the gathering team quick, we're quickly just gonna give the food to these homies. Food delivery, brother. Take my food, please. Take it, take it, take it. Submit quickly. Let's do that, 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 that. All right, let's yoink the hell out of here quickly. Let's buy something from this guy. Let's buy Cypress. Boom, boom, boom. It's actually about like 90. And then this, let's do that. Then increase amount like that and like that i don't think i will make it in time anyways so that sucks but uh i need cypress leaves like that there we go we bought it all next how much time left for this guy one minute i won't make it in one minute dude no way unless i get lucky let's go to a clear sky wheat field 20 seconds we actually might make it hey boys we might make it Let's go. Come on. Can I make it? Nine seconds, bro. We will make it. I believe it. Come on. We got this. We got it. And last wave. Come on. We got it, man. Come on. I know we got top one. Let's be honest here. Oh, yeah. That was perfect. Yeah, we got some gold. We literally came here in freaking time. All right. So next up, we got 
River area, Muscat Town, Wolf Hunting Field, and we got Black Pearl area. Well, there it is, but that's pretty far though. You can go to Black Pearl area and uh, literally just run there, but I guess I'll just use my bike. Yoink this bad boy down. Let's go. Alright, here goes level 4 zone. I'm pretty sure this is level 4, right? We are in level 4, yeah, this is level 4. So, you can just give the food. I'm running out of food, guys, I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, that's true. Um, give it all, give it all, give it all, give it all. I got 750 points left. And there's nothing really useful that I could buy here. Except the beast fur. But I really need that trash and uh, yeah if you're like a miner hand picker or a logger you can get either three of those exclusive items but yeah guys that's it for this video hope you learned how to get gathering vouchers easier if you were struggling with gathering vouchers let me know leave a like leave a comment whatever you can do thank you guys for the support and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out <laughs>